Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CLD. We'll take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out with levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Absolutely monster move today, not only from a price action perspective, but if you look down here at the volume, biggest volume this chart has had for quite a while. So definitely some updates here need to be made. So let's first start by talking about areas of support. Then we can talk areas of resistance. The ideal level of support, I mean, if you say, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? That would be if the price can continue to hold up above $4.25. I use the word continue very deliberately because if you look closely here, you can see several times this afternoon the bears try to press down through 425. And for the most part, price did a great job of holding strong. The one temporary time the price got below it, but that didn't last very long. So 425, definitely that ideal level. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price does ultimately you know, go below 425, I'm not saying that the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can continue to hold above there, that would certainly be a huge sign of strength, no doubt about it. Next level of support after that, down here at 405. So 425, 405, two of the two near-term levels of support. Taking a step back, looking at the big picture of it all, that is where the pur uh, purple line here comes into play, which is the famous 50-period simple moving average, key where they're being moving. As time goes by, that purple line is going to move itself higher and higher. So if you're sitting there saying, look, Clay, I just care about how do I gauge the strength of the move? This right here being defined as the move. So if you just want an overall way to gauge the strength of the current price movement, use that purple line. As that purple line moves itself higher and higher, as long as the price stays above the purple line, then the bulls are at full strength, full health. However you can best visualize that, no questions asked. Again, yeah, if the price can stay above 425 or 405, that would be ideal. But from big picture, as long as the price is above that purple line, the trend is fully in the bull's favor. What about areas of resistance? As it stands right now, key level of resistance right up there at $4.40. You can see on a couple different occasions today, price tried to break up through there, but just couldn't quite do it. So that'll be public enemy number one going into tomorrow. All in all though, as long as the price starts building higher bases, then from a grand scheme of things perspective, the chart will take care of itself. But no doubt about it, very nice move today. It'll be interesting to see if the bulls can build upon this momentum or not. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.